Hey, what's going on? Five Lakes Garage here. So, this is gonna be a follow-up after my little rant about the 2019 Toyota Tacoma. All right, so I went ahead and got the tune from Orange Virus Tunes. So, <clears throat> just want to let you know, if you are planning on doing this, please be patient. They're not exactly the most responsive. Uh, the tune itself, just to put it on the truck, is a huge ordeal. Yeah, this is the process. Basically, you buy it, you spend your, what, seven, eight hundred dollars, on, you need two things one you need the program itself you need the tune which comes with the program and then you also need an OBD2 to USB now I had a generic one at the house that I used on some other I think it was a GM but anyway that didn't work I had to buy there fine okay it was like 200 bucks got it great I put their program on a laptop now the laptop I had was really old and it was a piece of crap there's a theme here about all the crap that I, I deal with. They're all crap, apparently. Um, so it had Microsoft Vista put on it. Now, there was a lot of driver issues with that. They say on the website that it is supported, um, and I'm pretty sure I could have gotten it working eventually, but I went ahead and upgraded to Windows 10, got a light, you know, put all this stuff on there, and installed it. All right, here's the problem now. Once you install their program, you have to send them back an email with a code that comes off your program. Now they are going to tie that code to your registration to that laptop. So if you go from this laptop to that laptop, you gotta redo the whole thing and have them put it back down to zero. And how do I know that? Because that's what I had to do. I went to the Vista one, installed it. Okay, everything's great. Driver issue, driver issue, driver issue. Nobody makes drivers for Vista anymore. So. When I installed it on the Windows uh, 10 image, I had to go back and say, hey, this is what happened, blah, 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 can you reset it? Okay, they reset it. Now they give you credits. Now every time they have to touch that thing, they take a credit away. That's the problem. Because with Windows 10, I had a lot of other issues. Not really uh, driver issues, there was firewall issues. Basically you have to turn all your firewalls off. Turn off all your antivirus. Turn off anything that could stop this thing. So you turn everything off. Okay, you load it, you install it, all that good stuff. And I also had a problem that uh, once I try to put the registry keys on there, every time I try to uh, open up the program, the OV2, it will erase the license key. So I ended up, after going back and forth with them, to I finally got it up there. All right, great, I see the registry key. I see the license key, see all these files, great. I copy them and put them on my desktop so I have a copy of it. Because every time I go into a VTune, it will erase that file. I did not understand it. So I keep putting it on, putting it on, putting it on. Anyway, so the, the whole process. You install it, you send them the key. They send you back some registry keys and some other stuff. You hook it up to your truck, you get another key from your truck because they wanna marry your truck, your laptop with your program, with your registration, tie all that together so you can't go to your buddy's house. Hey, you got a third gen Tacoma? Hey, let me go program it for you. Yeah, okay, they stopped doing, they stop you from doing that, which I totally understand. They wanna get their money. They do a lot of hard work to try to tune these things. Totally understand it. But, I started this back in June. It took over a month to actually get everything. Between my issues with the laptops, between their issues with just trying to respond back, because once you send them their code, it says on the website they have 48 hours, two business days to get back with you. Sometimes it was two, three, four, a week, you know, whatever. Um, I had a holiday in there, uh, had all this other stuff. So yeah, I was getting very frustrated, but I was determined because, hey, I just spent you know, 800 bucks or whatever the heck it was on this product and I really want it to work. And not only that, if you saw my other rant about this Toyota, you'll understand that it sucked. But, it is tuned. I am ready to go. And the I guess the real question is, 
is it worth it? Is it worth all that trouble and all that hassle? Well, let me see here. Uh, yes, it is. Um, the tune on this thing is phenomenal. Uh, it does need a little bit more fine tuning. I believe they're probably working on it. Now, when I say fine tuning, throttle response, spot on. It is awesome. You touch that pedal, boom, you're gone. Um, I'm going to have to probably put some rear tires on this thing because I, it, it just keeps lighting them up. It is absolutely ridiculous. Uh, you have so much power down in the low end. Now, granted, you're not pulling tree stumps and stuff like that with it, but around town, putting a little bit of weight in the back, pulling a trailer, you get a lot more of that 275 horse down below, right where you need it for a truck. So, shame on you, for to Toyota, for not putting this on as a factory option. Now, it does kind of jump. Uh, you try to start off and it does kind of have different stages. Not quite VTEC, but pretty darn close. So I'm hoping that they will actually work through some of that timing issues. Um, but all in all, it is a great and fantastic tune. It is, it, it's unbelievable. It completely transforms the truck. It is so much better. I'm so much ready to just drive it. And that's pretty much all I really do. It's like, oh, you need to go to the grocery store? I'll get it. Yeah, no worries. Uh, just go ahead and drive it. Um, fuel mileage. I haven't really taken it on a long trip yet, but I do take it around town. And I'm getting roughly two to three more miles per gallon. And that's with me romping on it pretty hard. Um, so yeah, we got a better fuel mileage. The, you got a lot more power down below. Throttle response is spot on. It is fantastic. Now, I think if when you get the program, you will get several several different layers of tunes. You can go with basic stock, which they'll give you that in case you ever want to go back to stock. Then they have one step above that, which is like 87 octane, and it is tuned for 87 octane. Now you can put anything in there, and it will be tuned for that. You, have, you can bump up a little bit further for a 91 octane. Don't put anything less than 91 octane on there. And the reason for that is that the higher the octane, the better, um, better chance you have to not detonate. So you can reach that timing right at the peak. So you're, you can protect your engine a lot better. And did I go with 91? Nah. I turned it up to 11. I went all the way up to 93 octane. And maybe I shouldn't have went all the way up to 11. Maybe I should have started at 87, then 91, and see which one I like. I think maybe later on I'll go ahead and reprogram it again to, or reflash it again, and go back down to 91 just to see if I, I like that a little bit better. Maybe it's a little smoother. But I'm at a point right now where I can only put 93 octane in this truck right now which is totally fine. I'm so used to driving my BMW, which BMW was 93 regardless uh, because they programmed it from the factory to try to get the most performance because it is a driver's car. It is awesome. I do miss it. But back to this thing here, it is fantastic. It is awesome. Uh, so much better than what it was before. Uh, better fuel mileage. I want to take it on a long trip to see if I can actually get the highway miles but you can sit there in six gear on the highway. Just push your foot down a little bit. You'll accelerate before you had to go down the fifth gear, sometimes fourth gear, just to be able to pass somebody. And now you just put your foot down, go. It's fantastic. Um, so go check out OV Tune. Uh, it is basically from Orange Virus. They come up with new versions uh, quite a bit. Right now they are on version 2.0. Uh, they started with 1.0, 1.2, 1.5, you know, whatever. They had different stages and they're constantly going through and refining the tunes. So once you buy it once, you get access to all the other ones, which is fantastic. Now, if you want to, you can use the same program, same stuff, but you want to program another truck, you go buy more credits and then you're able to do that. But once you get everything married together, one truck, one laptop, one tune. I mean, it's it, it's fantastic. You can brief flash it many times. So anyway, uh, check it out. If you have a third gen Tacoma, it is not the end of the world when this thing 
disappoint you to no end, there is light at the end of the tunnel. Um, you can get it tuned and actually get it to be where it is a good truck. So anyway, uh, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. If you have any questions, give me some comments. I do read them all, but this is about it for the Tacoma. Now, what I also what I need you guys to do is go up there and leave a comment. Next step for the Tacoma. I'm gonna keep it. It is uh, running really well. I'm kind of excited about it. So what is the next step? Do we go with wheels and tires? Maybe lift it up a little bit, put a lift on it, or do we start with bumper sliders and stuff like that, and then we lift it? Uh, there's some other options that we want to do. Kind of want to make it to more of a uh, overlanding type of thing. Maybe put some gear in the back. But let me know. What do you guys want to see next? Tires lift or bumpers and sliders? Let me know and keep watching and check out the other videos when you can and we will go from there so i need to go stop off here at home depot because i don't really need anything i just wanted to drive the truck again anyway catch you later bye